Have you ever watched somebody blindly defend somebody without weighing all the evidence? Something I want to touch on. So let's get to it. How you doing, guys? There was a story I had touched on a few years ago. I kind of want to touch on it again. But when I was a young guy, a couple of friends of mine and I, we used to go to this really badass karate school. We would travel from tournament to tournament, and we would kick ass. Now, there was one morning I had listened to the radio and found out that the owner of the school had been arrested for child trafficking. Now, the first reaction I had was one of denial. No, he wouldn't do something like that. The next few days, I started thinking, how would I know that? I wouldn't know that. So I even mentioned it to a few of the guys, and they were in a state of denial. As a matter of fact, what I had found out was that people in his circle were also in a state of denial. They were shielding this guy for one reason or another. Years later, I figured out, well, they either are blindly defending him, or they were in on it. And I kind of find out that most of them were in on it. But the laugh was on them. To get out of the trouble, he, he made a plea deal. And he turned all their names in. Now, he got out of going to jail, but all the people that defended him were all locked up. I, this had come to the forefront of my mind with Jehovah's Witnesses and Watchtower. Now, I was in this situation some year, some eight or nine years ago when I was a J-Dub. And when I brought up what I knew, kind of find out that everybody was putting up a defense. They were shielding the organization. They were shielding the perpetrators. They were shielding these pedophiles. And that's exactly what hit my mind. Either they were blindly defending Oh, they were actually in on it. So who would defend a pedophile but another pedophile? Now, <clears throat> there was a lot of evidence eight years ago when I was in, and no one would look. There's a whole hell of a lot more today, and there are many that are still not looking. Now, look at the scores of people that have left the organization, that have walked away. And the thing is, they have all been labeled as, as, as the evildoers. The children that were molested were labeled as evildoers. And yet, in this day and age, they still want to put a blind eye to it and defend the organization. And they're not realizing Watchtower has washed their hands of Jehovah's Witnesses. All you are now are donations. They couldn't give a damn about you. Yet you still want to defend the organization. You have it in your mind that you're being persecuted for your faith. I got news for you. Look around you. This has nothing to do with your faith. Nobody cares how you worship. That's unimportant. Your organization is in a lot of trouble because of the human shielding, the pedophilia that goes on, and now murder. They're covering it up. They're sweeping it under the rug. And yet you still want to defend this organization without looking at the evidence. You think that everybody is out to get you. You know, the organization you belong to is a criminal organization. You might want to take a look. You're in such a state of denial. That was one thing I couldn't do. Now, when I first heard about the child abuse problem, I said, well, maybe, maybe not. But I started looking into it. And it was deeper than I had even imagined it was. And at the same time, they're pointing fingers to the Catholic Church. That was funny. When I was still in, I came across a Watchtower or Awake magazine about the pedophile priest. And yet, JWs had no problem pointing to the Catholic Church. And their organization was suing the same damn thing. And yet, there was still denial. You won't turn it over to the police. Professionals, legal professionals, you want to take care of it in-house. Your elders are not professional investigators. 
For the most part, they're a bunch of jack-offs, and they are under order to sweep it under the rug. And yet, you say in the end, oh, Jehovah will handle it. Well, if that's the case, then why not let him handle everything? What's the point of having judicial committees because you get catch Joe Schmo smoking? You're more worried about smokers than you are about child molesters. That's bullshit, guys. The evidence is all around you. It's not Satan's organization out to get you, yet you still believe it is. You're in a state of denial? Well, you're actually in on it. I mean... Look at how many more JWs are being arrested. And not just locally, it's all over the place. Wake up. You're defending a criminal organization. You all think it's Jehovah's organization on earth. No, it's a man-made organization no different than any other religion or high control group. Wake up, guys. Guys, that's all I had wanted to bring to your attention. You all have a good day. I'll be talking to you soon.